Oh, we put uh, Snow White. <laughs> uh, f- we, uh, what's no. her name? Uh, Cinderella, that's it. You don't even know her name. No, you can't be Cinderella. You're not... No, you can't. <laughs> Why can't I be Cinderella? No, I'm, I'm not accepting that. You're what? not Cinderella material. What <laughs> the... Sleeping nah, Beauty. Not... Nah, I think okay. that's more me. I, I can... I'll, I'll take that one. That's, all right. So what? We're just taking whatever I say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, without further ado, let's go into it. All right. So, what movie no, are we talking about? We, no. Who's your princess? I said already. You can't. No, Cinderella. Not Cinderella. Why bro? can't I be Cinderella? You're not. You're, you're, Apparently, you're not a Cinderella. you don't have. You don't. You don't. You. Your feet doesn't fit the glass shoes. So what? Are you saying yeah. not enough it things doesn't... go right for me? Yeah, your feet Cinderella's are too big. Like Superman. Huh? <laughs> You're not Superman. Cinderella's a Superman of princesses. Though. Okay. Is the Disney princess version of Superman? Uh, what's um, what's his name? Um, Shrek's wife. What's it? Fiona? Fiona. Yeah. Okay, That's you can have that. As, a... <laughs> as Fiona or as the ogre? No, Fiona. As Fiona. Yeah. Dude, I had a crush on Fiona when I saw those movies. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. You're welcome. Oh, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> like, out of all the other princesses. Okay, guys, we're going away from the topic now. I've been recording for about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, what's the movie again? Bloody movie. Oh wait, we need to have a. We need to rank Disney princesses. Oh, we do. No, that yeah. would be that no, would be another we do. podcast. We that do. Would have to Definitely. Be like an entire yeah. new podcast. We'll do like a tier list thing. No, because I know, <laughs> I know this guy has so, too much to say. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got some stuff I got to get off my chest. <laughs> The way he said tier list, yeah, he's already, he's, done he's already right. ranked them. It's all set up already. What do you mean? He's just gonna come to the thing saying, "This is my tier. Do you agree? <laughs> this is. It. I've had this for five years. <laughs> no one can persuade me otherwise." Oh my Every days. time I see a Disney princess movie, I have to add them to the list. <laughs> all right, cool. Right. Spider Man across the Spider Verse. Yep, that's the one we're talking about. That animated series. We're going to start. This is not a very good intro. We should what do you mean? Like, no. D- dude, two minutes of Cinderella is not. No, very welcome good. back. No, welcome. It's nah, nice it goes straight here. into it. Okay. All right, fair um, enough. General entertainment. Let's rate that. Spider Man across the Spider Verse. Um, we're going to enunciate your words a little bit more because that. I said general. Might be a little bit deceiving. Okay, cool. General <laughs> entertainment. Um, we're breaking it down for people who, let's just say, they just want to watch it. They're not really into superhero stuff. They just want to watch it. What What do you guys think? Who are you talking to? You can go first, Chief. Okay. I mean, for me, I think it's it it, it is pretty entertaining. It's it's a good time waster. That's what I like to say in terms of like like movies that are not really you know deep or anything but it's just if you want to just if you want something that you can just switch on maybe if you're like your brain is overloaded and you want something you can just switch on and just not have you know not have to think about anything or not have to worry about actually focusing too much on the movie and you just want to be entertained then yeah it's really good for general entertainment and you don't really have to know anything about like well you probably have to watch the movie before to understand some stuff in it but you don't have to know anything about like spider-man or marvel or anything like that you can just you can just put it on a watch and still figure out and understand what's happening because it's just like it's basically just a general easy to follow like, movie easy to follow movie yeah, yeah. pretty much so yeah. i think it's pretty pretty entertaining for general public Fez, um i mean i'll i'll probably agree with you i think it's not too complicated not too much happens it doesn't rely too much on what you know from the other movie if you hadn't seen it already. Mm. Apart from like probably one or two things here and there, but it doesn't really go like, oh, well, you should have known that from the other movie. So yeah, um, I think you kind of just get some cameos of like the yeah. characters that were in the other movies, yeah. but apart from that, nothing. Yeah, 
I think I I mean I I do think general entertainment is is it's not too bad. It's it's a good time waster, like you said. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'd rate it a solid movie to watch. Wouldn't say Maybe go out of your way, but yeah, sorry. Wait, you wouldn't say go out your way to watch it? Yeah, I wouldn't say go out your way to watch it. So if you were at the cinema, what movie would you watch over it? What, right now? Yeah. Or at the time it was out? Okay, I was going to say, uh, out of pure entertainment? Fast and Furious. Yeah, probably Fast and Furious, but then I've seen... Ugh, Fast and Furious is just stupid. I mean, it's the, that's the point. It's literally just general entertainment. Yeah, exactly. Like, you want to see explosions and fast cars and stuff. Exactly, but even to say, like, go out my way to watch it, like, when I mean go out my way, I'm saying, like, it releases and I'm bang. I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking about I mean, it for a week was, straight. There was just, I don't think there was really any movies like that. I think there when, was Endgame. Spider, Spider, no, I meant when, like, this movie came out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, obviously, um, Vanilla's ch- um, question was that, which movie would you have watched instead of that if you were, like, at the cinema trying to pick? Yeah, I mean so that was probably the best movie at the time. Out yeah, the same time. that's yeah. probably the best movie out at the same time. Other than the Flash as well, I guess. Or was that after it? That was a little <laughs> bit after. <laughs> <laughs> what do you yeah. think, Vanilla? Yeah, no, I agree with you guys. General, generally, it was really entertaining. Um, I, I would go to the cinema to see it. Maybe because I saw the first one and I really liked it, and second one i really like as well i would recommend it for and i think it's for all ages to be honest if you've got kids you can go see it if you're an adult you can go see it i think it's just a really yeah no in terms of fast and the furious i think it's a better movie because you kind of know what you're getting from the fast and the furious yeah with the spider-man it's a bit it's a bit more artistic i guess you can say yeah, I think it I think, is. I think it's just. Sorry, now I was just gonna say I think it's kind of like it's it's a like a niche thing with the animation. It's kind of like if you like that style, then you're really gonna be into it. Whereby Fast and Furious, like it just doesn't follow anything. There's no rules. Mm-hmm. There's no like even with like the previous movies, they try to be like, oh yeah, this person's from here, but. It's just very simple to follow in that sense. And I think that's what made Spider-Man good as well. It wasn't too much of like, what's happening? Why is this character doing this? Yeah. I mean, I also think like there were probably other movies that could have, that probably came out around the same time that are much better than it. But we obviously haven't seen because we, you know, we don't exactly have time to see every movie that comes out. But because that, because I'm just clarifying, we're not saying this, it was like the best movie out in the cinema at yeah, the time when it came out i can't but... even think of other movies that were out i, I think Maybe it like might have been Transform- i think transformers came oh, out, like, no. oh no 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 even hey listen you might not be a transformers no fan no no are, no so. i'm a transformers fan i'm just not a fan I of that transformers. <laughs> have you seen it i haven't seen it so i don't know if it's good Dude, we watched Spider-Man, then we stayed and watched Transformers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude. In the uh, finale as well. It wasn't even <laughs> in the start. I fell asleep at the finale. <laughs> the, Prime was there. the big fight. Okay, hey, hey, hey. This is not a Transformers tour today. <laughs> Relax. Uh, yeah. That's, not getting into it. that's just funny. Sorry. It's just so funny. <laughs> he fell asleep at the finale. <laughs> He was there. He was there with them the whole movie. <laughs> and then they were ready for their big fight. This is their climax. He goes, yeah, I'm out, guys. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, I'm going to head out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, this just isn't it, guys. <laughs> I was trying to stay for the story. I just couldn't. Oh. You know Anyways. I think in terms of general entertainment, I suspect a lot of people would like the Transformers film as well. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I if think, it's anything I th- like kind of like the first one or the first couple, then because nope. I don't really see them changing the formula. I don't know why oh, they, they would did. change the formula. They did. did they? they did. I'll be stupid yeah. then, because that's kind of what made Dude, people like it. I don't even know what order it goes anymore, but I that get what no Vanilla's trying to say in terms of 
just the idea of it is kind of like Fast X, where it's like not too much thinking needs to go into it. Like when you think about general entertainment, you think, what movie can I watch without having to think? And yeah. it's like you have the Transformers, the Fast series, and it's like you don't think about anything. Things just happen. It's like push, bash, this, this. And I felt like with Spider Man, there was a bit of that, but there was, and there was also periods where it was like, what is happening here? Like, I would think to yeah, myself, like, but I think it actually, actually, yeah, no, yeah, we're still staying in the entertainment. So exactly, like, yeah. yeah. I do think that there were periods where during that movie, I was like, what, what where's this going? Like, why, why is he? Does he need to do that? Like, yeah, or, like, like there were there were definitely periods where I was kind of confused for a little. Bit. Yeah, I was like, okay, like. But it was still entertaining and mm. very the end. Let's not talk about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about the end like towards the end of the <laughs> yeah, let's kinda go in order. Let's try and go in order. Yeah. But speaking of as well, in terms of like other movies that were out, I think the the um the movie with the guy from uh what's it called? Where is that? Peaky Blinders, the the main guy from Peaky Blinders. The, oh the movie that he's the role is was out as well. With was no, it that Oppenheimer? I think just came out recently. Yeah, oh, yeah, recently. it wasn't out oh, with did it. Did it come out recently? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah, out yeah. with it. Okay. I I don't think there was much out with it. There was uh, like a Mario okay. movie, maybe. <laughs> oh, maybe. Need to see that actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> we we thought about watching Avatar, and then we saw the watch time. Yeah. And we were That's like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to watch Avatar eventually before the game nah. comes out because I want to be able to, like, watch all the movies before the game. That, I, the I, game. I don't know. But, I just... yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to carve out that time. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. That's a commitment. But general rating for general um, for the entertainment, I would give it out of 10, give it a solid 7. seven. Like, you can go back and watch it, but you're not... I don't. I don't personally think it's good enough to go back, like in a week or two to be like i need to watch it again mm. so i i think it's a six seven like slightly above average because mm. of the animated effects and everything but that's what i would score it would you would you score it see for me i would say in terms because when i when i think entertainment i'm thinking like in terms of am i able to just sit down you know, turn off my brain and watch it and enjoy it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Are you entertained you... is the question. Yes, is would be the simple answer. To <laughs> Are that. you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would say that it was entertaining. Uh, so I'll probably give it like a solid seven as well. Yeah, same here, seven. Yeah, because the thing is as well, like if the um if a movie is like entertaining but it doesn't like it doesn't require you to actually do some thinking the rewatchability of it isn't gonna be it's maybe it's maybe gonna be rewatchable if like you have a friend over that's never seen it and you're like oh let's let's put it on and yeah you know, i'll rewatch it but you won't like if if you're on, like movie night on your own i don't know why you would do that but if yeah. you're having like a movie night on your own and you're like let me put on across the spider verse i've already seen it but i want to rewatch it yeah you I'm wouldn't like, yeah it's not your first you? choice like, it's not your <laughs> i first think choice. you need some help yeah it's not your first choice all right we can leave that topic then we all agree that's a seven good good enough it's not too it's not too bad it's not too good yeah nice. exactly um the next point that we're gonna actually tackle i think this is probably gonna be the bigger section is the story um did it make sense Obviously, we have like a recap of what the story actually was. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's recap. Yeah, so that means they kind of gave you like a little... So you didn't really have to go watch the first movie if you really don't want to. What, of the story? Yeah. Uh, What, are you recapping the story? Because your sentence feels like it just started in the middle of like a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> no, I was saying that... Like, <laughs> if you said something in your story, head. It's not like a conjoined story it's not like a continuation well it's kind of like a continuation of the first movie yeah but it's not exactly like a you it's required it's like a required assignment to watch the first movie yeah to understand what's happening yeah. in the story yeah. for the second one yeah, yeah it's 
no. So, so um, that's a good thing, I think, because obviously not everyone's going to want to like go back and watch the first movie. But I mean, to be fair, if they haven't watched the first movie, they probably... They might actually watch this movie because of all the hype that came with it. Yeah, 100%. People, people that were excited because of the first movie. 100%. I think um, to say what Vanilla said, um, if we recap the story, what happened at the beginning was he was upset. Spoilers alert. He was upset about... Oh, he was missing Gwen, I guess. He was missing Gwen. Gwen, we then got to see Gwen's little story about what happened with her and her dad. And then, and her best friend as well, I guess. And then some stuff happened. He died. Her dad finds out it was her. Then he doesn't want her to live with him or whatever. Or she runs away from him. Um, This is just a rough summary because from what I remember. So she leaves him. She joins some Spider-Verse, I guess, where they fix stuff that's happening in their universe, their timelines, on different timelines and stuff like that. She joins that. She's doing that for a bit. She goes to see him. Some stuff, stuff happens. There's this bad guy who actually became a bad guy due to the first movie. So he's now a bad guy and Spider-Man doesn't take him seriously. So he becomes a stronger villain. He's doing some stuff. Things blowing up, you know, people dying. Then I'm, am I right in saying then Miles goes into like follows Gwen into whatever she, whatever she goes into she goes to like another universe or another like thing of where there's a different Spider-Man so he follows her there some more stuff happens then he's not meant to be there he stops uh what what, what was the word they used it was it like a something that was meant to happen uh what was I it? have no idea what you what, uh, how you're explaining this. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. canon event. Yeah, he stopped a canon event. Yeah. yeah, so something that was meant to happen that happens to all of them, basically, which is a loved one dying. So he stopped a canon event. And then. Now, are you going to talk through the whole story? Because I have like a summary right here that I can read that would sum up most. Of okay, cool. Go on then. I mean, yeah, <laughs> if you, you want to do that, do that. Then. Him to do <laughs> I was like, literally. No, you, you just, no, no, no. Literally. I'm literally halfway through the movie in my head, and he goes, Hey, I heard him trying his best. I didn't want to interrupt. We could have two <laughs> sentences to sum up this whole movie right now. Go on, sum it up. Go on. Basically, according to Gigo, after reuniting with Gwen Stacy, Brooklyn's full-time friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is catapulted across the multiverse where he encounters a team of spider people charged with protecting its very existence. However, when the hero clashed on how to handle the new threat, Miles finds himself pitted against um, the other spiders. He must soon redefine what it means to be a hero so he can save the people he loves most. To, so be, to be fair... I don't know, I it, think Unknown went into a bit more detail. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's what this discussion is about. You, you, you don't just let him just explain <laughs> step by step everything that happens. I, 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 I feel even the description on Google has no end. Like, just like the yeah, movie, it's it just like, like it's just, it just goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's the thing with like Multiverse, though. It's like, it's hard to know how to end it because it's just you can keep going with it however because it's the multiverse so you can keep hopping universes keep you know getting no, into again indefinitely i think with the story like it really grabbed me not at the beginning was all right i didn't really care no, about when for me with the story at the beginning it was interesting because obviously i i haven't really like read much or i didn't really know much about like spider gwen's side of like the spider-man yeah, because obviously there are other Spider Men that we've seen throughout in terms of like other type of movies and yeah. animated series and stuff. But I haven't really. I think Gwen's probably like the first like woman Spider Man story that I've, I've been introduced to. So I, it's I, cool to kind of see her version of that little transition of how she became Spider Man I, I, and the identity part. I think. I think. Uh, I mean, I guess the idea was cool. I just didn't care much for it. Do you get what I mean? But like, it was definitely a, a cool idea. But I just, I just didn't really care about Gwen. So the first half of the story, other than she was actually quite cute, the first half of the, st- <laughs> the first half of the story was all right. Wow. Didn't really grab. Me. No one else to laugh with you. Yeah. 
<laughs> what does that mean, though? No, but what does that mean? Yeah, it's fine. Nah. Move on, Swift. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> 15, bro. Oh, no, don't say that. Don't say right, that. Moving on. Don't say that. <laughs> She's... I'll Google it right no, now. No, don't I'll, say I'll, that. I'll Google it right now. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> I swear, I'm gonna turn your mic off right now. I'm gonna kick you out. How can I kick you out? Nah, 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 keep talking. You know, your books. 16. Dude. I mean, you're in the UK, so if 70. she's 16, you might be safe. Underage. I should just 16, meet you. He might be safe. I should just meet you right now. It's not even about that. 15. It's 15. not even about that. Ooh, that's nah, not what it's about. Not that's not what it's about, guys. Relax, say, okay? Right. That's not what it's about. That's Anyways, not what it's about. you were saying. Oh, my God. We'll swiftly move on. So, yeah, I feel like... Everyone else, pretend you didn't hear that, all right? We'll, we'll <laughs> give them the benefit of the doubt. The first, the first half of the movie didn't really grab me. But I definitely think towards the end of the movie, I was more... I was really interested, but I was kind of hurt that we weren't going to see an end. Which, I, I guess, mean... makes it a good story. Because I kind of wanted more. Do you get what I mean? I was like, yeah, yeah, I need, I need to finish this. It was, it definitely like was getting very interesting towards the end. Yeah, and I think they made the right choice in, you know, make like you know cutting it off and making like a part two because the way that that story was going, because the movie was already like two, two and a half hours long. The way that story yeah. was going, it was gonna be at least another hour to get through that whole confusion like that whole setup of like what was happening in that yeah. final bit which was why i was confused because i because i was i, I didn't watch it in cinemas i was watching it online and i saw the time it kept ticking to the end i was like there's like <laughs> one minute left i don't know how, how you planning on <laughs> i don't know how you planning on doing this and then they ended up cutting. I think the main reason that I was a bit annoyed with the cutoff with of the of the movie was because it just I didn't really hear anything about it. Or I wasn't expecting it because I was like, first of all, do you know when the movie is gonna have a party? You can kind of tell. Yeah. With this one, it was just you just had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. The only the no only idea. reason I knew that there was probably gonna be a party was because the video was coming to an end, <laughs> and even then I was like. I think maybe I'm missing a, maybe this online version didn't have the full <laughs> version of the movie or something. I literally yeah. spent 10 minutes searching to see if other versions that I could find and all of them were the same. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess that's just how the movie ended. Yeah. I'm, I was I, I, that. It must have been super confusing for people in the cinema. <laughs> oh, dude. I was looking at my watch the entire time. <laughs> I had 10 minutes left. I was like, this this isn't going to end. I don't, I don't understand how they can end this film with just 10 minutes. <laughs> Everyone had the exact same reaction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's so true. It was I, like... I, I feel robbed. <laughs> I remember. But the thing is as well, especially with the first movie, the way the first movie was like a nice little package of like a... Exactly, yeah. From beginning to end. So you were expecting the same with the second one as yeah. well. Yeah, I remember Vanilla looking at me saying, dude, this is not going to end. <laughs> this is not going to end. I literally looked at him and was like, there's no way they can end this <laughs> in the time that they have left. I can just imagine. He's like, this will be a miracle if they pull this off. And it doesn't feel yeah, I rushed. Was, I was literally, I was afraid. I was like, this is looking like they're going to have to have a rush ending because it's getting really close to the end. But then they were like, no, we're not going to rush it. We're just, we're just not going to give you the full story. Fair. So, Vanilla, what, do you, what did you think? About what? Story. The story, yeah. You haven't said anything about how you felt. Uh, Gwen's bit, I kind of liked. I'm not sure if they needed to spend so much time on it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the mild stuff with his parents I feel like that happened in the first film and they just revisited it for no reason with yeah. like drama between them I don't, I don't, I don't see why that's necessary I feel like that's a staple of the Spider-Man is Spider -Man. like it's yeah. always him they always have to like I don't know if they have to but they always try and show him and you know the, tuss the tussle between him doing his yeah. superhero thing and trying to keep his secret and then from his parents from his parents or his guardians and you know the dilemma of him really wanting to tell them but him knowing that he can't tell them because they wouldn't agree da, 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 da. so i feel like it's it's pretty much just like a expected thing from a spider-man movie at this point 
I mean, I think it does get a bit tedious, though, because it's just yeah. like the same thing over and over again. And I think they could have cut that out and made it a bit shorter. They could have cut some of the Gwen stuff out. I don't know where that's going or why that's yeah. necessary. Maybe it's going somewhere I, in the next one. I don't know. I think, personally, I feel like I really liked the Gwen stuff because I feel like... Yeah, it was because otherwise, if you think about it, if if they didn't have like the backstory of why Gwen had to leave and join the, you'd see no. her and you'd be like, no, but we're not doubting that. That's there? the thing. We're not doubting no. that. I think just the length. Yeah, of exactly. It was, it was like, like the first half of the film was like about Gwen. Yeah, like why? Because it she achieved nothing. The rest of the movie. The first half. I don't think it was it, that long. Dude, it was literally like the first third. Yeah, it was literally really? about. Thought, yeah, it like, was. To me, nah. it felt like the, at least like only the first 10, 15 minutes. N- nah. It, nah, I think it was one dude, it, really? dude, it was literally like her from the story about her best friend, then her her life once her yeah, best friend died. Just yeah, but like, no, no, no. It could have literally been story about her best friend, her best friend dying, how she was dealing with that, and then bang, the issue of her dad. But we went through multiple scenes of how she was dealing with her best friend dying, and then how her dad was reacting. And I was like, why why so much like it it was a long section of like gwen and it was like i felt like she didn't achieve anything after that it was like at the end i guess she went back to her dad and she was like i'm sorry or something Mm. and and then they kind of like rekindled their relationship that's where i was like okay the first part didn't need to be that long because it was so easy for them to like rekindle their relationship that it could have literally just been uh i don't know like like 10 minutes or 50 maybe maybe 15 minutes of of her story and then we could have gone into the spider-man stuff but like dude remember she yeah sorry speaking of gwen though you see how you you spoke about the canon events yeah um so her dad was supposed to be chief but he didn't make chief because, he didn't want it. Oh, because she left. And they like said he the, quit. the chiefs he were quit, supposed yeah. to die. Yeah. Because the Indian Spider-Man's chief was supposed to die. And then they said something about the chiefs always die or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then her dad didn't die because of what she done. So maybe she interrupted a canon event and then they'll explore that in the next movie. Okay. I don't know. Just like how Hispanic Miles' dad also died because he was the chief. Is that the things? I don't think... I don't think she interrupted a canon event because the canon event is the chief dying. So if her dad isn't the chief, they're going to appoint a new chief and he's just going to die in his place. Yeah, but the canon event is... I think the interruption of the canon event is the saving the chief and stopping the chief from dying. But if he never took the chief position in the first place, then he never mm-hmm. dies. Yeah, that's but... why I think that's what I was trying to do was stop his dad. From yeah, but you have to think... Well. No, but you have to think about the story. The reason why the chief dies is because the chief is always someone close to Spider-Man. It's not just because no, so it's the a chief. Reason why the chief. No, dies. it's not just the chief, though. That's the thing. You have to think about that. It's not just the chief. It's the chief that's close to Spider-Man. It's because the man that delivers, delivers milk every day dies. It's, it's, that's not... No one cares. It's yeah, the that's chief that's saying. close it's to like, Spider-Man. It's, it's it, not the fact of, like... the Because the thing is, as well, the, no matter who the chief... Even if it dad isn't the chief, no matter who the chief... It's going to be, like, freaking... Gordon and Batman, no matter who the chief is, is still gonna have to have a close relationship. No, with no, no. It needs to be no. They need to be able to like report and like you know. Yeah, but it doesn't. Yeah, but it doesn't. It's not the same. It's not the same though. That's the thing. It's not the same. But her dad's gonna be alive. No, but that's the thing. That's what we're saying. It's not the same. Like, it can't be. Like, it no longer becomes anything relevant if it's just, like, you have to think about it. The chief in the Indian Spider Man. That was his yeah, uncle. Thing, that was his saying, uncle. The thing is as well, the thing it's is, always someone close. The, the Indian Spider-Man chief needed to die because that that version of Spider-Man hadn't, you know, he hadn't exactly. gone through a loss. That's what we're saying. That. That's literally but what... Gwen already had that with her best friend Peter dying. So she, mm-hmm. she'd already gone through her loss and she'd already, you know, used that as fuel to No, 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 no. That, that wasn't... No, but that was to become... No, like, you're, you're getting a mix up. They're saying the chief has to die, right? That's a canon event. We also know that in Spider Man, like a uh, a partner or whatever dies, right? Mm. Exactly. Like usually, a girlfriend whatever dies, right? But the chief dying—that's his uncle, right? 
Are we talking about Miles? Or no, just in general. Like, Miles, that's his dad, right? His dad just yeah. happens to be chief. Gwen, the chief, is her dad. Well, not anymore, but sure. Yeah, he would have been her dad, right? He would have been her dad, Exactly. Yeah. But, um, what's it called? Um, the Indian Spider-Man, the chief was his uncle. Mm, uh, technically so. not. No, was, he was not married to her. She, they were barely going out. Go on, yeah, on. It was her girlfriend's dad. It was just his girlfriend's dad, pretty much. Yeah, okay, cool. Who, who going by what they was going to be like... It uh, was going to be like or a whatever, yeah. breaking event for him because obviously it would have been due to, I guess, I don't, I think maybe he would have blamed himself because of his carelessness or, you know, him not being able to like save both of them because they were both in danger and he had to like pick which which one he wanted to save. Yeah. So if he did, if he'd picked his girlfriend and, you know, the chief would have died, then it would have been like, oh, I couldn't save her dad. So... You know, I, I probably should have been a better hero because of... Yeah, but the, I think uh, if if it's another chief that has no direct relation, it's just like a random chief, I don't think it hits the same. I'll be honest, I don't think it hits the same. But I think it... I feel like you, um, you, you're you thinking it won't hit the same because of the close relations. But I think it's more really about the choice of... Oh, um, especially... But in, uh, anyway, in, let's, t- let's take the Indian Spider-Man's... I really wish I remembered his name instead of just calling him in this <laughs> way. Yeah. Yeah, like but let's take... <laughs> Someone we'll find out. But let's take the Indian Spider-Man's uh, situation. If, if Let's say it wasn't his girlfriend. Like, it was some random other like police um, commissioner person that took the role of chief. And they were in that situation. He had a choice between saving his girlfriend and saving that person. And he went for his girlfriend and that person still ended up dying. It still would have made sense to trigger him to be more stressed. I felt sorry because obviously he's supposed to be a hero saving people and he he wasn't able to save one of the most important people in that city, which is obviously the chief. And the chief would have died saving a young girl, which would have made him a hero. So it would have made him feel bad even more because the chief was also doing, you know, part of his job for him, which is save the people from like the disasters. So it still would have been impactful it just from the audience perspective it just wouldn't have been as impactful because it's not someone that's close to him but for him as a superhero it still would have been very impactful because it's like someone died because i wasn't good enough yeah i i to be fair yeah i get what you mean i i, I get what you mean yeah i agree with that his name so is i think the whole thing is like oh uh, sorry go on is avir rabakar so is that his Actor name or the actual character name? Oh, the character name. We can call him Pav. Okay, cool. Pav. We call him Pav. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think the whole thing with the movie is that they needed, like either way, they needed a way for Miles to be um, to have hope of saving his parents. So, because the thing is, if if it's set in stone that his um his dad has to die, because the thing that's what I'm saying, like he he doesn't have to do that because he already lost his uncle which was the thing that helps him become more mature and become take the superhero thing serious. So he, he technically doesn't need to lose any more family members because you already understand the importance of, you know, saving lives and taking the job seriously and taking the role seriously. So I, I, I think it would make sense if they let him save his dad. It would be a bit stupid to just say, oh, no, like, I mean, unless his dad takes the chief job, which is then the case is like, we can't help you out. You shouldn't have taken that job. But... If his dad decides to not take the chief job, then it would make sense to save his life because it's like the chief always dies, but his dad's not the chief, so it, he doesn't have to die. Yeah, I get like, what... Not every Spider-Man has to be freaking an orphan or like a single parent. No, I get what you mean, but Batman's parents have to die, so it only... It's only <laughs> hey, that's right. a different universe, It's right? only right. It's only right. Different universe, different rules. All right, any other points about the story? In terms of what we uh, I have, I don't, I don't know. I don't think. See, the thing is as well. Like you say about how, like the Gwen story didn't need to be as long. I mm-hmm. feel like the what's what was his name, Miguel, the the vampire spider Spider Man. Oh yeah. I feel like his story was just. I don't know. I don't. I don't like the way he turned it around to then be like, oh no, like there's no room for adjusting anything. You have to keep. 
like you, oh your dad's gonna die you you're not allowed to try and save him at all you have to keep it the same i think the, him losing his daughter and losing an entire world kind of made him snap a little bit <laughs> and it went a bit insane because he he was just not having it he didn't even try and explore the options to try and help him save his dad or help someone you know yeah, but that's his character that's that's what yeah yeah exactly that's what makes him and but i feel like we didn't i feel like we i feel like personally we didn't get enough of his backstory like how did he become spider-man and because i really i was really, really interested in finding out because he's a vampire spider-man like how the freak did that happen yeah no i get you but we don't have all day it's what he's hey, saying, that's what I'm saying <laughs> bro like extend the party like I'm like, bro, there's, there's so many other Spider-Mans that like, have interesting stories that could be explored. It's like, it's crazy. Yeah, but it's just effort, isn't it? I, I get what yeah. you mean. Yeah, there's a, there's a, I think I probably would have been a little bit into his story. Maybe not as much, but we'll see what happens, what they, where they go with that. Mm. Any other last points? Vanilla ice chocolate. I just think it was really cool to see like the different, or, like, God the different damn it, areas. dude, you're hugging up the mic. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally said questions? vanilla i literally said vanilla you said that as i was talking all right no you made it open-ended. Stop making no it open-ended. i didn't i think you need a minute anyway vanilla any any other questions that you have questions uh, I, mean, <laughs> I, I wouldn't is... care statements I don't, I don't care about miguel at all i don't think mm. he's i mean his his what he wanted to do was to stop miles essentially because miles mm. is a anomaly or whatever um yeah yeah and everyone all of the spidey people knew about it yeah i don't understand oh yeah no one ever thought to tell him because the thing is as well like that the main reason that they you know i think miguel didn't take him serious is because Mal technically should have never been spider-man in the first place because the spider that bit him was from a different universe and was, you know, teleported to his universe. Yeah. And then, so someone else, I think, oh yeah, that was it. The Spider-Man with the dread uh, was supposed to be the one that was bitten by that. So he Spider-Man? was supposed to be the Miles. Sorry, the, yeah, the, the, the Miles. You mean the Spanish Spider-Man. Miles? No, 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 the, the, the Miles Spider-Man. Because, you know, you know um, the spider that, that bit Miles. Yeah, it was supposed to be from the universe of miles. you can't say it's the Spanish, but it's, they're both Spanish, they're both miles. Yeah, but they're he, Puerto Rican guys, yeah, po- sorry, the right. Puerto Rican kid, yeah, but he's more Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican, I can't speak, than the other guy. He's more yeah. like you can't say he's more Puerto Rican, he is, though, because yes, he you can say that. Look. No, it's not that, it's his accent. His accent is stronger. He's more, his accent his is accent a lot. Accent yes, that, more that literally is accent. what it is. What are if you talking about? Sim- no, but if they have a, because you could say like they had the similar like upbringing and everything, but his accent just happens to be thicker. Doesn't make him a, a, like more Puerto Rican than him. But it does though. It does. It literally is, does. And his mum was Puerto Rican, so it, his Puerto Rican side was exactly more than the American. That's literally where it is. Side side he's more Puerto. Rican. Yeah, that's what. Okay, but, I'm not arguing that part. You guys can have that. No, you okay. are arguing that part. I'm <laughs> you not arguing that. My, my point was You are, because you're just not making sense. I mean, my, you are. Yeah, I don't, I don't, exactly. I, I'm not... I'm failing to understand how your logic of his... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Is, listen, listen. No, no, no. We're not, not going to spend time Chief, on that. no, no, listen, listen. No, no, wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think the logic's pretty clear. <laughs> exactly. I feel like I'm no, not seeing listen, logic. No, I don't know. For a second, please, for a second. Just listen, please. Just listen. All right. Let's both explain, and then you respond, okay? So, if I right, am... Right, yeah, right, you go, you go, you go. Go, go, go. Go, no, go, no, no. Okay, cool. If I am... um. Like if I'm Puerto Rican, right? My fa- my mum's Puerto Rican and my dad's whatever, but I'm raised by both parents, so I don't go either way. So I'm quite like, just no, no sharp. Okay, no, cool. Go on. <laughs> okay, go, go, on. go on. Then. All right. Let's say my mum is French. Okay. And then let's say my dad is Chinese. If my mum dies, and I'm old, and I'm young. And the Chinese side is going to be emphasized more because my dad's Chinese. He's got Chinese heritage. He's got Chinese culture. He's going to influence me more. Same vice versa with the mum. Okay. The I got it. So you're culture. saying he yeah. leans more towards the Puerto Rican side than the American side. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, got it. So got he's it. more. I, was, I thought you were saying like he's like you know like physically like you know genetically more oh, Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican. I was like I this doesn't he's like the same situation. But yeah, I understand what you're saying. Now he leans more towards the Puerto Rican side than the American side. I don't feel like he even, But I think it makes sense because obviously he would have grown up on the streets more than the other Mars because the other Mars was more, he was, you know, his parents put him in like. I don't think it was American about him growing and up. Academies and stuff. I don't think hmm? it was about him growing yeah. up on the streets. No, but that's what, no, because his dad, no, the, the, the one that he said was more Puerto Rican because his dad died and his uncle is basically a criminal. Yeah, so he never really like went to school as much. He, he stayed, he like stayed on the streets more. And because obviously the area in Brooklyn where he's at, as there's a lot of like, I'm guessing that it's like a community of them. So there's a lot more of the. So he would have been more around other people of um his heritage. But the other Mars was more like his parents stuck him in academies and stuff. So he would have been around a lot more like American and that type of environment. I don't think that's what. So we're it makes saying. sense that the other one's accent was thicker. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I get what you're because saying. Because it was more street smart. Well, he grew up more in the street. I don't think that really matters though. I think it does. What are we talking about? Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, th- I just feel like he's trying to saying, argue about something. No, you literally like, just my my point. No, 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 no. Was you literally started a whole story for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> literally, no one was speaking, and he goes, "No." So basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the reason he's more Puerto Ricans because he was on the streets. He was on the streets because of his dad. That guy is a born bred. I'm I like, you're not understanding. The, I, I'm. I was trying to move on from him, but you guys... No, you weren't, because you started talking right? about him on the streets. <laughs> My point originally was that the the Miles that was... That became... Um, actually... I don't but think that, this is a spoiler right now at the beginning but, of this, but <laughs> I feel like we sports a lot already, so this isn't really a major spoiler, but the Miles that becomes Prowler uh, was supposed to be the one that was bitten by the spider. Yeah. But because the spider got transferred into the other Mars universe, that Mars got bitten instead. So that's why he ended up being parallel. Yeah. Was the point I was trying to make because um, I can't even remember what the point you said is now because you freaking went on a tangent about being more Puerto Rican. I mean, no. yeah, what you said is right. Yeah. Um, why Why did we say that though? Yeah, I, that, that was, I think we were, we, were, we were discussing about how Miguel didn't really uh, mess with him because of the fact that he wasn't supposed oh, yeah. to be the one that was bitten by the spider. No, but Miguel and all them spidey people, they have their little device. Check yeah, but you know what? You know what I don't understand, which annoyed me the entire movie, was the fact of that they said, "Oh, you're not supposed to be. You weren't supposed to be the one bitten by the spider. It was the other Mars that was like if you, the spider wasn't from your universe, so." And I'm like, okay, but if that was the case, why didn't you make steps to fix it as soon as it happened? Because you would have found out about it. But what now after he's established and he's doing his whole superhero thing is when he decides to suddenly start. And the fact is they didn't even try to fix it as well. They just tried to like just make his like backstory even sadder for some reason. Do you know what that means? Fixing it would have been like, I don't know. Like For example, if as soon as he got his spider powers, they tried like they started hunting him down and tried to kill him to be like, oh, you're not supposed to be a Spider-Man in this universe. That would have made more sense versus then being like, yeah, oh, we... you're not supposed to be the Spider-Man in this universe, but you're already Spider-Man. So now you, you're you not allowed to save your dad. Yeah, your but dad do you know what it is? Come on now. Do you know what it is? It's called storytelling. So when you write like one story and then it's really good and then you have to write another story. Yeah. But like, like yeah. you, you just go, okay, cool. This is why... Or this is what happened, and you just don't check it. Like that's that's what that was. It's just like, yeah, it it it. It's just storytelling. It's a bit unfortunate, but I get what you're trying to say. The other Spider Man, like if they knew, oh yeah, this there's gonna be an incident where a spider is gonna bite the wrong person in the wrong universe, and they're gonna become Spider Man, and it's gonna mess up everything. Then ideally, you just go, how about we fix that? But, yeah, but even if they didn't, because obviously all the other stuff that they were fixing, all the other anomalies, obviously they can't tell, they can't see the future. So it's after the fact of, I, I, so the example, they'll be like, oh, there's been like an anomaly in this universe is not supposed to be there. So mm-hmm. can you go take him and, you know, remove him, put him back in his universe. So basically they just clean, they're just a clean up, clean up crew, really. They're cleaning up after what's happened. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying of like, even if they didn't know that it was going to happen, it wouldn't have made sense for them to know beforehand. 
But after it happened, they didn't try to like make moves to fix it or anything. They were just like, okay, just I guess just let him keep being a superhero. And then once he's he kept being a superhero, then they're like, oh, we don't acknowledge you as a superhero, even though he's already doing the job. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I I think um they didn't acknowledge him because he wasn't a threat. Reason being that no one from any of the other universes had contact with him until the event with the collider or whatever that made the spot guy, and then that's what. But but I, others but into there were like then... six people that had contact with him because they got chance, and you know they were the ones that helped him close the super collider in the first place. True. Wait. So wait. The whole event of the first movie was like after he got bit. And the other Peter died, or the others, like, there was, like, the different six, in the first movie, the different, I don't know how many, I can't remember, like, four or five Spider-Man versions were, like, drawn into his universe, and then they help him fight Kingpin to, like, close the Super Collider so they could get back home and he could close it. So they did have contact with him, and I'm pretty sure, because the judging by the way that the vampire spider was talking, that Miguel was talking, he was aware of him from like the very beginning, basically from maybe from like when the super collider exploded. So he's been aware of Miles being Spider Man, the fact that he's not supposed to like, you know, like the spider that bit him wasn't from his universe. But he never did anything about it. He just left him alone and let him keep being I mean, a superhero. I, thought, I think he should have done something about it, which is why that's I what I'm saying. Because I'm like, but... at this point, the point that he chose, that's what I'm saying. The problem I'm having is. The point he chose to do something about it was the point where I'm like, it's already too late. He's already a hero. He's already doing his thing. You can't then just be like, oh, I don't acknowledge you as a Spider-Man because you were bitten by a spider from a different universe. It's not your powers. Like, it's, it's he already made it his powers. He's made it his own. You can't just then say you're not a superhero at that at that point. Yeah, well, you're gonna say, um, Vanilla, because I felt like you were talking for a bit there. What? Yeah, you were going to say something and then Chief just kept talking. Uh, forgot. <laughs> um, so let's move on to the next one. Wait, also, so Miles created the incident in Pav's universe, which yeah. should have what? caused the inspector chief guy no no die. no i don't think i don't think he created it because i think the incident was going to happen regardless but the only thing he miles did was he prevented the chief because obviously the incident was going to happen and the chief was supposed to die from that incident how was the incident going to happen no the incident couldn't have happened yeah if miles wasn't, wasn't there, there to make it happen though because how... did i don't remember how it started exactly Wait, yeah start? let, yep. sorry, because I'm... miles Carry on, right, so, yeah, no, carry on. I was just going to search it up, see if we can get a clip of it. Carry on explaining. I mean, everything went to shit when Miles went into Pav's universe with all the collisions and stuff. And that's what caused all the chaos to happen. And the chief should have died then. Miles was the one who created that canon event. But it should have been a canon event, so it should have happened without Miles anyway. Oh, got it. I think, yeah, okay. I think the point is the canon event was the point was the fact of the chief was gonna die in like a in like a 50 50 of like perhaps trying to decide between saving the chief and saving his daughter so i don't think the specifically the bridge was gonna like was the setting the bridge just happened to be the same because of as you said miles was the you know the catalyst for like the whole thing going haywire but Regardless, I think if Miles wasn't there, there was gonna be eventually Pav was gonna have to have a like a, a like a major incident where he had to decide between saving the chief and saving his daughter, and the chief was gonna end up dying saving a little girl, and it's gonna end up being the catalyst for him maturing. Yeah, I get what you mean, but I'm just trying to get a clip of that scene to see uh, the scene. Yeah, because I don't really remember it as well. But I think, because obviously, again, it's a Spider-Man movie. Bridges blow up all the time. So eventually there was going to be an event on that bridge that made that situation happen anyway. So <laughs> yeah. I think Miles probably but, just sped it up. But that, that being said, if it's going to happen anyway, 
Miguel said that Miles stopped it. So even if Miles stopped it now, what you're saying would suggest that it would happen in the future at some other point. No, so but that's Miguel what I'm saying. Like, it's because Miles has stopped it, it's not going to happen anymore. It's already yeah, but happened. No. Oh, no. I get, I get Vanilla's... Yeah, I get, I get Vanilla's yeah, I get point. point. No, no, no. I get what no, he's no. saying, but nah, he's it can't happen... Sense. He can't be... I get what he's saying, but that's what I'm saying. He can't... It can't happen twice. See, the thing is, the, because of Ma, because Miles was there, it sped up the event of the bridge collapsing. So the event was supposed to maybe happen at another time, but because Miles was there and he kept making like the whole multiverse thing go haywire, it sped up the event of the bridge collapsing, and he and Miguel, um, and Pav was put in that situation earlier than he should have been, maybe. But it's not gonna be like a thing of like, oh, Miles caused that one. But then another one happens because if another one happens, he already knows what to do in that situation. I'm guessing he wouldn't know what to do in that situation because he should have. If he, if he, as a superhero, if he encounters a situation that you know maybe could have, could have come across as a loss of life for someone, you would train to like deal with that situation if it happens again. Oh no! I think the reason the bridge collapsed was because of um, that thing that. Um, wormhole guy looking for spider-man so he went into um miles so you know you know that wormhole guy that jumps through wormholes if he yeah, yeah he went into he went into um things um universe. Universe. yeah pav's universe and because he went into pav's universe to basically gain whatever more to get stronger it caused the bridge to collapse because they all like tried to stop him. So I I think the, that was maybe if like Miles didn't go to that universe, that was always going to happen because he was yeah. always going to be in that universe. If you get what I mean. Okay. So I yeah. think that that could have be a, that could be a thing. I think I can show you a scene quickly. It's like the full scene, I believe, but we don't need to see the full scene. So if we just, you know, take your time, we're hourly. Yeah, we are. How about you shut up? There's too many buttons. There's too many Anyways, buttons. Dude, before this we move on the story, can we rate it? Because I don't think we've actually rated it. Um, yeah, no, so... we'll see the scene and then we'll rate it quickly. Yeah, while you're doing your thing, Vanilla, what's you rate it? Uh... We're not going to watch the whole five minutes. No, no, we're not. Just a scene to see. So this is what happens. Can you guys see it? Yep. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically it, and then it causes the bridge to collapse, basically. Yeah, but Miles is there. What? That's yeah, what no, that's my no. My point is, he um that guy was always gonna go there. Yeah, he was always gonna go there, and you know, yeah, because they had the, the first place, yeah, Miles. yeah. He went there for the collider, not for Miles. That's why he left because he was like, "I'll see you back home." Plus, at the beginning, I was like so confused in um into that that whole guy's descent into villainhood because he started with like petty crimes and then uh, and then went from petty crimes to like super colliders and causing like a mass earthquake yeah i think he, I like, he, Dude. He, he became like he got angry because the fact that spider-man wasn't from taking Mar him seriously Mar just yeah provoking him and not yeah. taking him serious yeah um, so yeah, back to the rain we have started. Then yeah, I, I sorry, I just remember that was the point I was trying to make with the whole guy was I I kind of understood him a little bit more once they actually explained how he got his powers. Because if I was in a situation, I would be freaking, I would be heated as well. Because not only did he ruin his life, he also just you know dismissed all the all the freaking hardships and tragedies that happened to him. Yeah. But anyways, you're saying. Yeah, I was going to say, let's just rate it quickly. So, um, we're talking about, um, did the story make any sense? Was it easy um, to understand? Did it add value to the general entertainment? And what was the story meant to achieve or teach? 
Damn, I feel like I'm doing some school assignment or something. <laughs> what is this film club? Sorry, my bad. Sorry. So yeah, um, I'll be honest. I think because of the way the the end of the story grabbed my attention, I would definitely give it like there were iffy bits about it there. I'll give it like a seven point eight or like I want to give it like an eight, but I mean, to be fair, eight isn't a perfect story, but it did get like it. It was getting my attention there. Like, I, it had me wanting more. Actually, I'll give it a, yeah, it had me wanting more towards the end. There were bits in the story where naturally you're going to be like, I don't know what's happening here. But I think the overall story, it made sense. And there wasn't, obviously, there's a lot we can poke at now. Be like, oh, why did that happen? What's that? What's that? What's that? But in the general sense of it, it wasn't, it didn't make you feel like that during the movie. Do you get what mm. I mean? Like, you didn't feel yeah. like, well, that's random. Why is he doing that? Apart from the vampire Spider-Man. But yeah. You guys go on. Go on, Galena. I think the story was fine. Uh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I just thought that it dragged unnecessarily at some point. Particularly with Gwen and Miguel just chasing Spider-Man. Mm. I mean, I... It's a Spider-Man movie, so I enjoy it regardless. And I feel like I didn't really find any fault to the story or at any point. Damn, to like, talk about so I would probably, I would give it a nine. Honestly, I'll give it a nine because I didn't. I I enjoyed the story, and I think it made sense. It was. I mean, obviously, there are definitely gonna be parts where you can poke holes in it, but that's true for a lot of other movies, especially when you have like a movie where you probably only intended to make like one one movie and then because of how big it was you're like okay we're gonna make a second one so they're gonna be there's not gonna be like any there's definitely gonna be inconsistencies but if you're comparing it to like the story continuation from the first movie but as just like a movie on its own like a collective i i enjoy it and i think it was a really good story so i'll give it a nine solid you're just a massive Massive Spider-Man. It's a massive Spider-Man fan now, I would say. I also enjoyed the fact that there's just a lot of different Spider-Man's variations and their backstories or, like, just different changes to the backstories and stuff. Yeah, I respect that. Um, Just a last couple of things to wrap this. I don't know how big this section is. Hopefully, it's not too big. So, why is this movie? Like, why this I movie? Like, what's to ask the directors and the movie makers. I don't know. <laughs> This means, what do you think the point of making this movie was? Is I it relevant to I think it was to, to make more money, because the first movie did so well. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was going to say. I think it, it, it was about making money, and I don't blame them, to be fair. I think... Yeah, I, Spider-Man I, is a lucrative, like, movie-making opportunity. I feel like it can go into its own little thing now, of, like... But I would say, because the thing is as well, in terms of, like, traveling through the multiverse, I was a little disappointed because I've been waiting for, like, uh, Into the Spider-Verse type movies since I've, I saw, like... I don't know if you guys watched uh, on Disney Channel or Disney XD the um, Ultimate Spider-Man animated series. Uh, I don't Cause, remember. Because when, when that came out, I, I watched, like, all of that, and there was, like, the Spider-Verse in it, and there was, a, like... So I think towards like the final season, he would basically just travel through the Spider Verse, make me in different Spider Man. And from that point, I've been wanting to see like a freaking Disney version of like how they did the Spider Verse. Oh, kind of finally did it, but it wasn't really. I I prefer the anime series way of doing it better than the way Disney did it. But I guess because Aww. you know TV series have a lot more time. This is like right. a childhood history. Look at th- this. Look at this. We're like part of your like. Well, it's no, not childhood, childhood dream. This, this was like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is the childhood. This is like last week. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> it's like yesterday. <laughs> Fair enough. What about you, Vanilla? What do you think? You had gave his opinion. Did he? Uh, yeah. Just to make more money. Um. Was it necessary? I, don't... I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it was. I mean, if if they had this in mind already, 
and it was if they just came up with it after the first one was so successful i think I, they've done a really yeah good job. that's what i was about to say i think that's a really good movie i, I think. think it was planned though because it took i've read somewhere that it took like five years to animate damn and i don't think the first one came out five years ago so five I'm years sure to animate already, when did the first one come out like i could be wrong about this damn they've been animating the third one for a while then That's crazy. Wouldn't it be well, funny if it didn't do well? The first one came out in 2018. Oh, it has been five years then. Mm. Yeah, so... December 2018 was when the first one came out. I guess we're not getting another one for a long time then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they... No, nah, they, 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 they teased this one, so we're probably going to get it maybe next year. Well, we hope so. Fingers crossed. God dang. So, yeah, that Where was... are they going to go with the next one, though? They're gonna have no, to prolong still, the story. I think they're still gonna be exploring Miles and you know him trying to save his dad and trying to get back to his own universe. Yeah, I'm hoping personally that they kind of get into a little bit more of like some of the other Spider Man's stories and their backstories, but I think they're probably gonna try and keep the focus on Miles because you know it's a Miles Morales movie, but. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna go to any of the other Spider Man. First of all, no one I cares. I think it'll be good if they did. I yeah, think you're, just you're like, like the like only just one. Like a, <laughs> like a Spider Verse movie in general, without any attention on one specific one. How long is that gonna be? I don't know, like ten hours. Dude, just watch a series, man. <laughs> <laughs> or read a comic book. <laughs> Literally. Um. Yeah. No. Like you guys said, I think. I think it was. I don't know. It was about making money. I think it was good. Um, I think the third one. I don't know. Like you said, I don't know where they can go with it. But I, I, I am. I for some reason I, I trust them. I trust everyone in the. Sure. Yeah, I trust everyone in the production of that, because I just feel like they've done such a good job with the first two, that there's no way they mess up on the third one. Do you get? It's not mm -hmm. like a. a a DC franchise. So I yeah. trust. <laughs> yeah. I trust them. But but why does, but those also is, well, why does Prowler Miles have so much swag than the other Miles? Well, that's my What question. do you mean? Because like, he wrote like, in the movie, he, like when they revealed him, he rolled up with like, the nastiest light skin look in like, in a Spider-Man movie I've ever seen. And I'm what? like, where are you he? getting all this swag from, Miles? Like, Does he? What's, what's the what's that? Like? Yeah. Like, he might as well have just freaking smiled, smiled and bit his lips at that point. I'm like, bro, <laughs> relaxed. Wait, what? What scene are you talking about? Like, the very end when they revealed Prowler Miles. When when the when the other Miles was tied up and he was like, um, and he was talking to Uncle Eric, and then Uncle Eric was like, "I'm not Prowler, he is." Oh, and then he walked out the shadow. Oh yeah, the lighty. Yeah, 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 that, yeah that's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. He was killing it. He was killing it. Low key, yeah. I was like, I want to know this guy's life story. <laughs> I know, I know. Like, what you been through? <laughs> I guess that's what we're gonna go into in the next movie, then. Yeah, I guess that is what we're gonna go into. So it's I think show, basically actually. we're gonna maybe uh, maybe they're gonna show us <laughs> why are we saying we're gonna go in. <laughs> hey, be part of the team now, right? It's it's a we project now. <laughs> yeah, carry on quickly. But yeah, I was gonna say that I think maybe they're gonna explore what not having the spider power, you know, not getting bit by the spider, but still losing his dad oh, does to Miles. You think he's gonna do that whole like? Telling his story before he kills him, type of thing. Be like, this is what I had to go through. Maybe, or maybe they're just gonna do like a flashback type thing, like you know, just okay. you know, show. Yeah, waste time. Yeah, because it would be weird of him to just monologue it. <laughs> like, yeah. no, bro, you know, Steve. They show it. us. They show us the flashback <laughs> while he monologues. Maybe yes. we'll see. Um. Anyways, let's wrap up that movie. Rate it out of ten, and then. That would be it for this one. Um, uh, I think I'd give it a solid nine. Okay, that's really good. That's like yeah. that's like Maverick Top Gun good. I don't. I've never enjoyed Top Gun. What? Do you hey, know what I'm talking that's about? That's a different podcast. You, you don't like... 
I've never been able. I, just, I don't. I can't say I don't like it. I've just never been able to get through the whole movie. Wait, what? What? The new Top Gun. The new one, the old one, either one. You. I've tried for both. Weren't able. Really. Yeah. Wait, Vanilla, are you cutting out or is it my mic? <laughs> No, I'm, I think it's just no. shot. <laughs> I'm yeah, shock, <laughs> genuine shock. Did you go to see it in the theater? But no, honestly, no. But the new one I haven't tried to see yet. I'll see. But the old one, I've literally tried to watch the old one. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Two, three, so times. you haven't tried to see the new one? <laughs> no, I, I was joking. No, I haven't tried to see the new one. Yet. I just wanted to you, see you, it. You, no, you can't you see it. You have to see it in cinemas. It's not going to be the same seeing it at home. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a not. bit late now. This is not Dude, in cinemas. Yeah, I know, a killer. I know, but I'm just letting you know it's not going to be the same. Dude, it's... I mean, if 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 I even get a glimpse of how it would have like the experience, don't worry, I have a nice setup that would let me get a glimpse of the experience of what be in cinema. No, so I think I'm getting same. that front. It's not the same. You should have. It's not the cinema. same, but it, it will be close. Cause that's how I managed to enjoy the Spider Man movie as well. Cause the experience would have been much. I I could see the experience would have been much better in cinemas, but the essence of it was still there when I watched it. No, I think if you went to cinema to watch Spider Man, you would have freaking gave them an eleven. You would have given them an eleven. It would have been a fifteen out of ten. God damn it, dude! <laughs> Go on, Vanilla. What do you rate it? I will give it an eight out of ten, purely because I think it was longer than it needs to be. They could have cut out a little bit of fluff, especially since it's a part one as well. Yeah, and mm. because it's a part one, I. I feel at the end of it, I felt a bit robbed. Mm -hmm. Like at it first, my initial like feeling, my initial feeling was, oh, I can't wait for the second one. But then I thought about it and I'm like, oh, why do I have to wait for the second one? I thought it was going <laughs> to be done now. Yeah, I feel like if they'd made it known that it was going to be a two part, it wouldn't would have been have as come good. Into it expecting yeah, that. it wouldn't have been as yeah. good though. It would. It, Mm. Nah, it wouldn't have been as if you knew there was a part would, two. Yeah, no, you probably it wouldn't, wouldn't have, have been. Yeah, it would have been. You would have been like, "Oh, this is why is it taking so long?" You yeah, know, yeah, like, part two, yeah, like. yeah. You wouldn't have enjoyed it, not knowing there was a part two was. But I guess was... you would have been more alright with the ending, so it's a little bit. Yeah, you would have been alright with the end, but it. you wouldn't have enjoyed it. And I, I guess they chose the first kind of poison, which is just not telling you and letting you find out yourself. Yeah, facts. But no, but June. Did you, have you guys seen June? Is that movie? June or Dune? Yes. Dune. Dune isn't Dune. even out yet. Oh, Dune. Oh, cool. No, the first one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it. The I've first one it. was a part one, and I didn't know it was a part one. At the end of it, I was just like, wow. I yes, that's the thing. The like, towards the end of that one, you kind of had that feeling of there's going to be a second part. Yeah, yeah, you but did. With the Spider-Man Spider one, you just yeah. had no idea. This is how, I don't know how they managed to pull this off, but this is how, like, just un absolutely unaware you were that there was going to be a second part where the time is ticking. You can see there's gonna not going to be enough time to tell the story or it's going to be rushed. And you're not even thinking, oh, I guess they're going to have a part two. You're yeah. thinking, okay, how rushed is this ending going to be? Yeah, yeah. Not they're gonna, I guess they're going to have a part That's how, like, unaware it was that there was going to be a part two for this. I'm going to have to watch Doom then since you lost. No, Dune is a really good movie, oh, and I cannot wait for the game to come out as well. as well. You have to see it in cinema? Nah, I'm good. You have to see Dune in cinema. I'm going to see it here right now, quickly. It's not even an option. I'm sorry. Nah, I, have still, still I have to watch it. I have to watch it, yeah, before like I watch the, the second one. The nice scenery and everything. Like, if you have the, the atmosphere right, like a cinema, you can still enjoy it as well. Dude, we get it. You've got money. Freaking hell, dude. I think, I know. <laughs> hey, you have to rub it in people's faces sometimes, all right? Relax. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't rub it in my face. <laughs> hey yo, pause. Hey, yo. You know, um, one of the reasons why we didn't see it coming with Spider Man is because towards the end, everything was like kind of crescendoing before the final battle. Like yeah. everyone was getting themselves ready. So we thought, oh, there's gonna be a final battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was just yeah, a that, that needed to be to be resolved until new miles came mm. yeah that's why i thought that yeah that yeah you just reminded me that was that does make sense that's right because that, that's probably why you didn't think there was 
Yeah, you're right. Because the thing is, as well, they never actually had a proper final battle. Because the, the thing that you, because the in my mind, the thing that I was thinking of the final battle, you know, the chase scene where he was trying to get to his universe. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. even really a final battle. It was more like a no. chase scene, and it was just there wasn't actually like a final confrontation. I find I, I, I find that so funny. Be. You go, yeah, you know the chase scene. It wasn't really a final yeah. battle. It was a chase scene. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Because in my mind, I was like, oh, he fought Miguel and he, he won. But I was no like, way. No, that was actually, too easy of a win. Miguel just, you know, he just chased him and he got away from me. He didn't actually fight him. Yeah. No, I get what you mean, yeah. Um, but yeah, that does explain why it was so, it felt so abrupt. Yeah, I think that, I mean, I, I agree with Vanilla, not with G. I think it's an eight. Not A nine is quite high. Like, I feel like a nine is almost like, I want to see that again. Yeah. Like now. In that like a couple personal. months. Huh? It's a personal choice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but you can't say you want to see it again in a couple months. Yeah, but I feel like it would be a movie where I'm like, I can, I can, I really, honestly, I, I'm saying I can watch it probably like another two to three times. Yeah. But I think, I think it like... is the type of movie where you would watch um again when the second one comes out. You'd watch it again. Or, well, you know, if you're just kind of in a mood for, like... I don't know if anyone else gets this, but sometimes I'm just in the mood for, like, Spider-Man content, and I'm just like, <laughs> no. what, movie do, <laughs> what movie do I want to watch today? I could watch, like, the Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland. What? Normal Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man the Maze series. Sometimes you just get the feeling to just watch something Spider-Man. I no. don't. No. You're just a fan. I guess it's... Just <laughs> yeah, you're just, just a fan. <laughs> <laughs> literally how what? much how much did you rate no way home chief no way home yeah the Is one that with the, andrew toby the and final Tom. one oh the, yeah, the last oh, one that one. one's i think that one's that that one's hard for me because i'm like it's definitely a nine or a ten because it was a really i really liked it okay okay but i didn't like the fact that there's potentially not going to be another Tom Holland Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I think he was a really good Spider-Man, to be fair. Mm. And I was really I was really looking forward to the next movie with him because they say it up so nice, but it's like, okay, how is he, he going to deal go with this? Because yeah. everyone forgot about him. Yeah. So it's like, okay, now you have a fresh start of So wait, why Spider-Man. did they say, how do you know there's not a second one? Because yeah, I think I heard, I think I heard that Tom Holland left or stopped being spider-man or something along that I, line. I, I, I know that he wrong. took a break from acting for a bit i think i heard I that need as to well. check it that he took a break from acting not that he stopped being tom holland i mean stop being spider well, he can't <laughs> stop being tom holland. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right cool that that was our opinion all right cool i'll see you guys later then damn relax why are you, why are you pushing so quick uh, bye <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that's the end of this video. Bye. <laughs> exactly. Bye. See, Vanilla is ready. I'm saying bye to you, Unknown. Why? Because <laughs> you just hung up the phone, Unknown. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm ending... left us like the movie, basically. <laughs> I'm ending it in an appropriate manner. Out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't think we have. I have enough time to actually research if he's still Spider-Man or not. That's fine. Okay, then. So... Any final thoughts since you guys want to do it like that then? No, it's not about final thoughts. It's just, you can't just be like, just get out. Just like, you know, thank you for joining us. Okay, thank we you. We hope you enjoyed. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. <laughs> You're treating us like <laughs> prostitutes right now. <laughs> I'm done with you guys. <laughs> you can leave. Here's your money. <laughs> No, because they don't care about all of that. All right, then. Uh, any last all words, right. Vanilla? Nah. Exactly. See, Vanilla don't want to say nothing to the audience. <laughs> he just did it. Yeah, but you're the host, so you should be the one giving the final word. All right. Peace, guys. <laughs>